Number 8. Colombian Mummy Residents of the small Colombian town of Rosascalca were horrified at the discovery of a perfectly preserved mummified body that appeared after a landslide in 2019. After massive rainfall caused the landslide, it was made up to the local grave digger, Florentino Torres, to clean up the mess, which meant he had to get his hands dirty, retrieving coffins and bones from the vaults that were damaged during the mudslide. He was also working to prepare new graves for the bodies of other people killed in the new landslide. Along with some local villagers, Torres got to work unearthing bones and giving them to their distraught relatives so that they could have their loved ones reburied. But during the chaos, Torres was shocked to discover something bizarre, the perfectly preserved body of a human with most of its skin and hair intact. Landslides are common in Colombia because the houses are built on steep hillsides, which can become treacherous during the country's rainy season. Even though the discovery was unsettling, mummies aren't uncommon in the San Bernardo area of Colombia, where bodies have been known to become naturally preserved. Wondering how that happens? Some think the local diet of guatila and balu, two indigenous fruits eaten in the region, could play a part. Others think that it's the local climate and altitude that act as a natural embalming agent, and with so many mudslides, it makes sense that some of the bodies trapped underground forever might later be unearthed, only to have been preserved where they lay. If you thought naturally preserved mummies only happen in Colombia, there are also mummies in Guanajuato, Mexico that have become naturally preserved by underground gas and the special chemical composition of the soil. If you want to get a look at the mummies, there's a mausoleum set up at the local cemetery, with biographies written on postcards by the victims' families to remember them. It might seem macabre, but in a way, it's allowing the memory of the deceased to live on. Number 7. Cave of Horror in a remote cave in Israel, a remarkable historical discovery was made in 2021. The problem? It happens to be in the Cave of Horrors, a place known for the previous discovery of a large number of skeletons, mostly belonging to children. The cave was first discovered by archaeologists in 1953 and was later excavated in 1961 by Israeli archaeologists where they unearthed more than 9,000 documents and 50,000 fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls that took decades to fully excavate. The cave is one of eight in the canyon of Nahal Haver, used as a haven during a Jewish revolt against Rome. With an entrance 80 meters below the edge of the canyon and a drop of hundreds of meters below it, it's extremely difficult to access, which could be the very reason why this new discovery of more scroll fragments has remained hidden for so long. Who do you think left behind these new fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Experts think they might have figured out who hid the scrolls there after locating the remains of a camp at the top of the cliff. Could the refugees who sheltered there use the cave to hide their prized possessions in the cave before dying in a Roman siege? It's up to experts to decide, and the task isn't going to be an easy one. Ever since the first set of scrolls was discovered in 1947, numerous fakes have turned up, including forged documents that ended up in the collection at Washington, D.C.'s Museum of the Bible in 2018. By studying the archaeological evidence surrounding the scrolls, experts can rule out more fakes. And if these new fragments are proved to be original, it's very exciting for archaeologists who hope there are more scrolls out there waiting to be discovered. Number 6. Largest Dinosaur Footprint in the remote western region of Australia, scientists have uncovered what they've nicknamed their very own Jurassic Park. While working in the area, they discovered 21 different types of fossil footprints, including one that's the largest ever on Earth. The stunning find included tracks from long-necked herbivores, two-legged ornithopods, and six different types of tracks from various armored dinosaurs. But the most exciting discovery was of the only known evidence of the Stegosaurus ever found in Australia. Over 130 million years ago, dinosaurs lived in the wet, sandy region of the area's River Delta, with other races of prehistoric creatures in Western Australia rare due to erosion. The find was a remarkable one. Experts spent 400 hours measuring and examining the prints, making models and silicone casts to display them in museums. Even though it took centuries for paleontologists to find the results, Australia's indigenous people have been sharing stories of mythical creatures they say once roamed the area, including one of Morala, an emu man who left large, three-toed tracks behind. 
These fossils belong to the creatures that inspired this bit of indigenous lore? It seems like it. If it wasn't for the Gularibulu people, who are a group of Aboriginal Australians who alerted scientists to the presence of footprints, this very important part of Earth's evolution might have never been uncovered. Luckily, the area was given national heritage status, which will help to protect these historic tracks and allow curious spectators to view them in their natural habitat. Number 5. Crocodile Mummy It's no secret that ancient Egyptians had some unique burial practices. From mummification to storing the organs of the dead in canopic jars, the culture is a fascinating one. Now, modern technology is helping to shed some light on these mysterious people, and research has revealed secrets that no one ever expected. Tourists to Egypt were often warned about buying mummified animals at Egyptian markets, and after seeing the results of a recent scan done by the National Museum of Antiquities in the Netherlands, you'll understand why. The museum has had a nearly 10-foot crocodile mummy on display since 1828, when the 2,500-year-old mummy was examined using X-rays and CT technology. The scans revealed the mummy was made up of not just one, but two different juvenile crocodile skeletons. Experts weren't necessarily surprised, since stories of fake mummies with bandages wrapped around random bones are often sold to unsuspecting tourists looking for a cool souvenir to take home. What the museum staff didn't expect, though, was to find out the mummy they had wasn't only made up of multiple crocodiles, there were 47 separate baby crocodile skeletons inside the mummy. To make the discovery even more fascinating, each of the baby crocodiles had been mummified before they were packed inside the larger crocodile before it, too, was mummified. If you thought it was a unique find, you'd be partially right. It's actually the second crocodile mummy found to have a secret hidden inside. In 2015, scans of a crocodile mummy at the British Museum in London revealed 20 hatchlings inside the wrappings of the larger croc's back. Instead of hiding the secret crocodile mummies, the National Museum of Antiquities in the Netherlands decided to make it the focus of their exhibit, offering visitors a virtual look inside the mummy so they can see the remarkable way the ancient Egyptians wrapped the creatures. The crocodile was considered the god of water in ancient Egypt, one that symbolized the strength and power of the pharaoh. Sobek was an important figure as an ancient deity depicted as a crocodile god. So one can imagine that when the ancient Egyptians mummified these crocodiles, they were doing so in a way to honor their god. Number 4. Dragon Man If you've ever taken an anthropology class, you've probably learned that Neanderthals are the closest relatives to ancient human relatives. Both fossils and DNA show that our two species shared a common ancestor before the Neanderthal and modern human lineages separated at least 500,000 years ago. But new evidence of a strange species could offer a closer link to humans, one that might make your head spin. Researchers working at the Center for Human Evolution Research at the Natural History Museum in London were studying a particularly interesting skull, one that's the largest homo skull on record. What did they find? The cranium might be the closest known related species to Homo sapiens, but what might really shock you is the nickname for the species, Dragon Man. The skull was discovered in China in 1933 by a man who decided to keep it a secret. He hid it in an abandoned well, which was how the Chinese traditionally buried important treasures. It wasn't until 85 years later that the secret came out when the man was dying and he told his family about the strange discovery he'd found. When experts finally got their hands on the skull, they were immediately fascinated. The head was huge, much larger than any other skull they'd previously found, which indicated the brain was just as large. The brow, face, nose, and jaws were also large, as were the eyes. But the face, while broad, had delicate cheekbones and tucked under the brain case, the same way modern humans look. In studying the skull, researchers looked at 600 different traits. By comparing them to Homo sapiens, they concluded this new group of early humans shared a more recent ancestor to Homo sapiens than Neanderthals. Using deep analysis, the research team analyzed samples from the skull and dirt in the nasal cavity to determine the skull came from an individual that lived 146,000 years ago in the Pleistocene Epoch. Wondering why researchers call the skull Dragon Man? It was found in Heilongjiang province, which, when translated, means Black Dragon River. It's easy to see how the nickname Dragon Man stuck, but don't let your imagination run away with you. The nickname doesn't mean modern humans are descended from dragons. Number 3. 
the Chelekula or Skull Tower. Many ancient cultures adopted some pretty strange practices to scare away their foes, from the Aztec death whistle that was used to summon spirits and create horror and fear, to various cultures that would put the heads of their enemies on spikes to show off their strength, these strange displays are sometimes shocking. But leave it to the ancient Turks to go one step further by building an entire tower of skulls to scare away anyone who might want to raid their camps. In 1809, the Turkish general Hursi Pasa created the Çelekula, or Skull Tower, out of the heads of defeated Serbian rebels. At the time, the two empires were at war, with the Serbs outnumbered when Turkish Imperial Guards attacked. When the Serbian commander saw the dire conditions, he got desperate and fired a shot at a fully loaded keg of gunpowder in an attempt to wipe out the enemy soldiers. He was successful, but he also ended up killing his entire army at the same time. Angry that his enemies had taken out his troops, Turkish commander Passa decided to teach the Serbs a lesson. His men mutilated the bodies of the dead rebels by peeling off their skin, decapitating them, stuffing them with straw, and sending the bodies to the imperial court in Istanbul to boast about their victory. But that wasn't all. Using the skulls as building blocks, he created a tower near the main road into the city to warn the locals of what would happen to them if they ever tried to fight the Turks again. An astonishing 952 skulls were used to build the tower, but it was all for nothing. The Serbs rebelled again in 1815 and drove away the Turks to gain their independence. And some of the family members of those who died in the fight decided to chisel away some of the skulls so they could give their loved ones a proper funeral. Only 58 skulls remain in the tower today, offering a glimpse into the tensions that once fueled such a gruesome act. Number 2. Midnight Terror Cave One day in the Cayo district of West Belize, a local farmer heard screaming coming from deep inside a cave. When the farmer rushed to the scene to help, he made a shocking discovery. 18 meters at the bottom of the cave, there were hundreds of smashed bones and teeth, so many that he couldn't even count them all. Expert bioarchaeologists were brought in to carefully analyze the remains, and when they did, they found almost 10,000 bones, teeth, and bone fragments that all belonged to individuals no more than 14 years old. Radiocarbon dating on the bones indicated the bodies were dumped in the remote cave around 3,000 years ago over a period of about 1,500 years. The task is an impossible one for researchers who estimate there were a total of 114 bodies in what is now known as the Midnight Terror Cave. The discovery was so shocking because for the most part, the ancient Maya only sacrificed adults. In fact, this was only the second time a large-scale child sacrifice has ever been found in the land of the ancient Maya. The other incident was uncovered in a subterranean cave at Mexico's Chichen Itza, where the remains of 101 children and teens were found. Another chilling discovery made after analyzing the remains is that none of the children or teens was from the local area. That means they were all rounded up from far-off places and brought there specifically to be sacrificed. Could it be a matter of ancient human trafficking? And why dump them there? It's no secret that the ancient Maya saw underground streams or cenotes as sacred places. And with droughts often stretching for almost 20 years in the region, the ancient Maya might have been so desperate for rainfall that they thought sacrificing the children would please their gods enough to bring them much-needed rain. Whatever the reason, it was a chilling discovery, one that shows how ancient cultures relied upon the elements. In the Mayans' case, their desperation led to two very startling discoveries. Number 1. Mummy with Smallpox Could a deadly disease long forgotten be making a comeback? A team of experts analyzing the mummy of a child that died in the 17th century have uncovered traces of smallpox, a deadly virus that ravaged ancient Egypt 3,000 years ago. While studying the viral DNA extracted from the 17th century child, researchers revealed that the deadliest form of the smallpox virus emerged in humans around the time migrants flocked to the New World. But the discovery was an accident. 
after spotting strange scars on the face of a child mummy found in the crypt of the Dominican church of the Holy Spirit of Vilnius. Researchers decided to take some samples in hopes of uncovering an obscure virus. They sent the sample to a lab in Canada, but the results were completely unexpected. The sample was rich in variola, the virus that causes smallpox, which was eradicated in 1980. Most patients recovered from the infection, but up to 30% of those who contracted the disease died. By comparing the strain found in the child mummy to other samples on record, researchers found that the ancient infection was closely related to modern strains of smallpox. Even more interesting is that all 49 modern strains of the virus could be traced back to a common ancestor that started between 1520 and 1654 CE, only 100 years before the child mummy lived. The team is still trying to figure out if this strain came from an animal host or if there was a mutation already present in humans that made it more deadly. The only way to find out if the virus was around even before the 17th century is to study more mummies to see if the virus could still be lurking and waiting to make a return. Thanks for watching. Which one of these archaeological discoveries shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time. Bye.